If you've heard of Mary Walsh, you've probably seen anything on CBC over the last... I don't even want to say how long because I just remember watching her. She's a funny East Coast woman. And she's got a brand new uh, Christmas show. It's called A Christmas Fury that debuts this Sunday, December the 3rd. She had a chance to talk to Jeremy yesterday. Mary, this is not your typical Christmas show. Tell us about A Christmas Fury and the concept behind it. I guess in a way it is a typical Christmas story if you think about it. Because the original Christmas story was that the world was suffering in sin and sorrow. And then God sent a child into the world that redeemed the world. And with the Furies, they are suffering through, you know, enormous dysfunction. Mamie Lou, who's my character, is going to leave. The mother who's been holding the whole place together is leaving. There's infighting that starts off with a huge racket in the nativity scene. and But then they end up with this foster child who is with them for the Christmas season. And as somebody pointed out, like the social worker says in the scene... Um, uh, if uh, Mamie Lou asks her, where will Nevaeh, which is heaven spelled backwards, have to spend Christmas if uh, not with uh, if she doesn't come to us? And the social worker says, well, she's have to stay in a in a room out in a motel out on the highway with me. And somebody said, oh my God, it is exactly like the original Christmas story. <laughs> but uh, and then uh, Nevaeh ends up redeeming uh, the Furies Christmas. So, but there's a lot of fun around there, you know, a lot of. Yeah. Your character is pretty much the matriarch of the family. Was her character an easy role to write for? You know, the thing that conflicts, that I find difficult, and I don't know if it comes across, is there is that martyred mother thing that we fall into uh, so easily. Like, I do everything for everyone, and nobody does anything for me. And I didn't want Mamie Lou to be like that, because I feel very much as one of those martyred mothers myself, that in a sense, I'm just trying... There is a desperate effort on my part to control things. And I think if I do everything, then I'll control everything. And, of course, that's because, of course, nobody wants you doing all that stuff. And certainly nobody wants you controlling them. But there's like a a kind of deal you make with the universe. Like, I'll do everything. I'll do everything. I'll take care of everything. And then, you know, everything will be all right. Never is, of course. (laughs) (laughs) You know, the show is stacked with well-known comedians, uh, Sean Majumder, uh, Mark McKinney. What was the chemistry like on set between all of you? Well, we worked together back in 2006 on Hatching Matching. Right. It only went seven shows, uh, but we were like uh, Keith Spear, I guess. Those who liked us liked us a lot. And not a, a day went by since then that somebody didn't write and say, when is Hatching Matching coming back on the air? So finally, we came together to make this Christmas movie. And it was like they say, you know, they say that thing about friends, that if you're really good friends, even if you haven't seen each other in 20 years, when you're in the room together, right away, it's like you never left. And that's what it was like for this crew. We got all back together again. It was just like we'd never left the set, you know? Christmas Fury coming out again uh, December 3rd, just a few days from now. From your inner circle that I've seen the show, what were some of the comments about it? People find it really, really funny and, and touching at the same time. But, you know, the, I guess the little bit of difference that would be with the, it, it is an ensemble show. And so you have all these incredibly funny people, Susan Kent, Johnny Harris, uh, Sean and, and Mark, like you mentioned. And they all get a chance to be really funny. Oh, and also the enormously funny Governor General Award winning Joel Thomas Hines. Yes. Who just won the Governor General's Award for uh, uh, for his book, uh, for his novel today, actually.